UFC 263 happening this Saturday. We're going to be talking about predictions here. We're going to start off in the main card with Paul Craig versus Jamal Hill. What could happen? Easily, I do see Jamal Hill winning the fight by decision win. But I wouldn't be surprised if Jamal Hill gasses himself out and Paul Craig somehow returns in a third round and wins by a TKO. Bilal, remember the name Muhammad versus Damian Maya? I think if the fight goes to the ground, Damian Maya wins it easily. But if it's standing, Bilal Muhammad has the biggest chance. Damian Maya looks, he's old. And he's coming off a one-punch knockout loss. So I got Bilal Muhammad. Which we move on to our main fights. Nate Diaz versus Leon Edwards. What what do I think will happen? My prediction is I honestly do believe Leon has a better skill set uh, on the feet to, to, you know, take care of Diaz. But you can't write Diaz off. Diaz on the ground could finish this fight. If Leon goes to the ground with him and Nate's on his back and Nate does throw a Hail Mary and gets him in a triangle, that could ruin Leon. Or Nate uses his uh, gas tank as a weapon against Leon, which we haven't seen fight in a while. And in the later rounds, thir- uh, like third, fourth, fifth round, he starts pushing the uh, gas against Leon, a tired Leon. And that could win him the fight. But turning over to Leon. We saw what he was doing to Bilal. He was piecing Bilal up on the feet. I'll be honest with you. I I, I like Diaz. Diaz is one, one of my favorite fighters. But seeing how his last fight against Masvidal was. And seeing how Edwards looked in the Bilal fight. A true 170 pounder. As much as I like Diaz. Leon, I think, has the better chance of actually taking the fight. And I do think this could end up being a fourth round finish. TKO or Dr. Stoppage for Leon. Now we move on to Davidson Figueredo versus Brandon Moreno. One of my favorite fights of the card. It could have been fight of the year last year if it wasn't for Yuana versus Wei Li. But here... We have Brandon Moreno, who proved that he could withstand the power of Davidson Figueredo. He took many shots from the mat, many clean shots, and at some points he did look like it hurt him, but he still kept pushing, he he still kept coming and fighting. Which does give you the uh, idea that in this fight, it could go the same way, and it may as well could... If he sticks to his game plan. For Brandon Moreno. There is a chance. To win the fight. But there isn't the biggest chance. To actually win the fight. Moving on to Figueredo. Dude has one punch knockout power. He has power in this division. Yes I do believe he was. Like he cuts a lot of weight. To make it. And. Going into the fight with Moreno the first time, he cut twice really a short time. And I do think that depleted him. I do believe uh, this fight will not be like the first fight. I think Moreno does get finished. Maybe third or fourth round, Brandon Moreno gets TKO'd. Or, so, yeah, TKO'd. I'd go with TKO. It just, Figueredo has that pop in his punch from 1 to 5. That's what Brandon needs to watch out. And I have Davidson Figueredo retaining his championship and beating Brandon Moreno. Now the main event, Israel Adesanya taking on Marvin Vittori. The press the little press conference just happened and we saw what happened there. Israel Adesanya was cool, calm and collected. Marvin Vittori seemed very angry at times like he was very aggressive when it came to some uh acts or some answers is israel adesanya would say and going to marvin 
him pressuring the fight and fighting, he's a very slow fighter. He's sluggish. He's not on the level of Jan Blachowicz. Jan Blachowicz, unbelievable fighter. That's why Israel Adesanya had problems with him. These two fought already. Vittori would need to press the fight, take Israel Adesanya to the ground, which he had trouble in the first fight, but take him down, hold him, but not lay on him. He, sh- he would have to try to get into mount, posture up, and lay elbows, punches, whatever he can down and try to get a finish. Because the longer the fight goes for him, the worse it gets. Like we saw in the Holland fight. On the feet, he's just too slow. He needs the fight to go to the ground. And I do think that if this fight... I do think that he can take Adesanya to the ground. Not in the first if you Maybe not in the first and second round. Maybe the third or fourth. I'll lean more to the third. I think he... He doesn't have a chance after the fourth to do it because they'll be too slippery and easier to get up. Moving to Israel Adesanya, he's gotten much better. So has Marvin Vittori. The only difference with him is people think that, oh, because Jan beat him, that's the game plan. No, Jan is a completely different fighter than most guys. He is a very smart fighter. And that's what Israel Adesanya had problems with. And that is what I believe he's trying to fix. I don't think Marvin Tori will be able to take him down the first two. Maybe third, but not after that. Marvin Vittori did gas out against... It, it looked like he was starting to gas out against Kevin Holland. He was getting tired. Israel Adesanya, you know, could go the five rounds. He has the speed advantage. And he has power. No one can forget that he no, he knocked... Uh, down Robert Whitaker and Paulo Costa. So that that tries to you know play in the head, and watching the press conference, Vittori was getting heated. It's like Adesanya is in his head. Vittori holding on to that. Oh, I won a few years ago. I think that's gonna be a huge mistake for him. I do believe. Uh, Israel Adesanya will go on to win this fight. By a decision. Uh, maybe four rounds to one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll be making a what what happened after. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.